Singer-songwriter John Mellencamp has been moonlighting as an actor-director. His film, titled Falling from Grace, hits the big screen this month. It was written by Larry McMurtry, who wrote the screenplays for The Last Picture Show in Terms of Endearment. The character he created for Mellencamp is Bud Parks, a country star who returns to his hometown for his grandfather's 80th birthday. Marielle Hemingway is his wife, Kay Lenz is his lusty old flame, and Claude Akins, remember him as TV's Sheriff Lobo, is his lecherous father. The most important point Mellencamp wants to make about Falling from Grace is that it is not autobiographical. Bud and I are really nothing alike. First of all, you know, Bud left that town. See, I never left. So that was the first thing. When people go, is this your life story? It's like, no, because, you know, I never left the town. Hi, how are you? I listen to all your records. <laughs> well, see, Bud had only, only had a, a couple role models, and that was the grandfather and his father, in which he did not want to be like the father. And I thought we could just have one of them heart-to-heart -heart talks, Paul. Well, I don't particularly care about your heart. Your father didn't even like your music. He crushed your guitars. He didn't give you a cent. Guys our age, we grew up, we're never going to be like the old man. Bud says that in the movie. I ain't nothing like that guy. Right? So you're telling me, then, that the old man is in love with you? Well, you know him. He's your father. What do you think I'm telling you? Um, what I think you're telling me is that he's chasing you. No. He's not chasing me. But in fact, he's exactly like that guy. And I think that's what really was Bud's dilemma in the whole film. I was just thinking about what an interesting bunch you Parks boys are. You don't hang out together. You're not much like. And yet here I've ended up in bed with three of you. Yeah, that's real funny. She's very manipulative. She knows how to get exactly what she wants. She's very at, at peace uh, with her life. She's very satisfied. Lots of folks going to be hurt by this, besides me. You know that, don't you? So I think, that, I think Bud's problem of not being able to correct his mistake is a very human and a very humble thing that we all do, you know, repeating ourselves. Besides, once I'm gone, it'll make it a lot easier for you to see your girlfriend, whoever she is. You won't have to tax your brain thinking up little excuses to, to disappear for an hour or two. That's right. Yeah, I know that's right. I mean, you're a parks, aren't you? Two women are better than one. Three are probably better than two. And on up to whatever the parks limit is. I'm always making the same mistakes. Uh, I think that's just the way humans are. I don't know anybody that, oh, I'll never do that again. And they can really live by that word. Your father made a pass at me. Big shot. Hilary Mercury's a wonderful writer, is what it boils down to. And, uh, you know, uh, if I have any regrets about it, it's that, that the characters are so rich on the pages. And I don't know that if all the characters is rich, as we could have made them. I wish you love and happiness. I guess I wish you all the best. Two more musicians have made the jump from small screen to silver screen this week. All right, they're not real musicians. They're Wayne and Garth, the heavy metal dudes from the way cool Saturday Night Live local cable skit, Wayne's World. That's